In this video, I will show you how to migrate Google Drive to another Google Drive account. This is done without downloading and reloading again files and folders. We will see the difference of moving files and folders from a Google Workspace account and from a free Gmail account. The reason why you need to follow different steps is because Google Workspace has restrictions to move files outside the organization. It means that you can move files to another user within the same organization or domain name, but not to another domain name or to a free Gmail account. This type of restrictions does not apply to free Google Drive that comes with your Gmail account. These steps will work to migrate a complete Google Drive or just a few folders and files. When you are moving Google Drive, you need to consider if your present drive is going to be deleted or if you are going to lose access in the future. This may change the way how you complete the transfer of your files. For the purpose of this video, we will refer to the original drive, which is the drive where we are migrating from, and then the new drive, which is the drive where we are migrating to. As a first step, you will need to organize the folders and files before starting the transfer. It will make the process much easier. In our example, we will make a new folder in the original drive where we will move all the files and folders that we are going to move to the new account. A folder that you can easily recognize after you have moved your files into the new drive. In our example, this is going to be our original drive or current drive where we are going to migrate the files from. So we have here the folders and files that we want to move. The first step, as we said before, is to organize the files and folders that we want to move. We will start by creating a new folder. We can click here on New, then New Folder. We're going to give it a name Moving Drive, then click on Create. We have our new folder here. So what we are going to do next is moving all the files and folders that we want to migrate to a single folder which is the new folder that we just created. As an example, I can drag and drop the folder here inside Moving Drive. I can also select more than one file or folder at a time. If I press Control key and click on Marketing and also on Administration, I will select two folders at a time. Then I can move it over the Moving Drive folder. As an example, I'm not interested in moving this folder, so I will leave it there. I'm going to move only the folders that are within this new folder. If I double click, I will open the folder and I will see my three folders. And if I look on every single folder, I will see the files that are in every folder. I can click again on my drive and I will find my folder here. Once I have moved all the folders within this new single folder, I will be ready for the next step. The next step will be sharing the folder with the new Google Drive. To share the folder, I can do right click and then select Share. I will enter the email address of the new Google Drive. I can click here and I can leave it as Editor. That's OK. Now we click Send. Now I can switch over the new Google Drive. We have it here. And if I click on Share with me, I will be able to see the folder and I see it here, the Moving Drive folder. I can double click and I will see the folders that are being shared with me. If I click on any folder, I will have access and will be able to see all the files that are within those folders. If I click again over the Moving Drive folder and do right click, and if I click on Share, I will be able to see that my new drive is just as editor and the owner is still the original drive. Once I have confirmed that the folder has shared with the new drive, I can go back to the original drive and change the ownership of the files and folders. I will go to the original drive. I have it here. And then I will do right click over the folder. 
then I click on share. I will see that the original drive is the owner and the new drive is still the editor. So I click here and I can click on transfer ownership. Once I transfer the ownership, the new owner will be the new drive. So I click here and I will get this message. You will be the owner until this person accepts ownership. Then I click send invitation and click on done. So an invitation has been sent to the new drive. I'm going to access the email account and I will see this email invitation to on. Within the new drive account, I will see the moving drive folder. I do right click and click on share. I will see this button here, accept ownership. So we click here and I will find the message. The current owner has invited you to on moving drive. Then we should click on accept. From this moment, the new drive is the new owner of the moving drive folder. So I can click on done. Since I'm the new owner in the new drive, I will be able to find the folder within my drive and not within the share with me. So we click here on my drive and I will find the moving drive folder. Going back to the original drive, if I click on my drive, I will find the folder here. We do right click and then click on share and I will see that this original drive is not the owner of the folder anymore. The new owner is the new drive where we wanted to move the folders. This completes the steps if I don't have any restrictions to change the ownership of the files. However, if I'm moving files and folders from a Google Workspace account, I will find the restrictions to change the ownership. I went back to the original status before accepting the ownership. We will find under share with me, the moving drive folder. I can double click and I will see the different folders that has been shared with me. Since I don't have the ownership of these folders and files, I will need to click on every folder and I will need to make a copy of every file. So I can select all the files by once, I like them, and then do right click and click on make a copy. At this point, I have a copy of every single file that were originally shared with me. And I will be able to move these files over my drive. Before doing that, I'm going to click on my drive and then I will create a new folder. I can do right click here, new folder, and I will give it a name, my new moving drive. And I can click on create. Within this folder, I'm going to create my folders. I'm going to give it the same name that I had originally, administrator. sales and marketing. Now I'm ready to move the files. I click on share with me. Double click on this folder. Double click on administration. And I will copy the three new files. I select them. drag then over the administration folder that I just created. Then I will get this message. Everyone who can see administration will lose access to these files that we are just moving. Since I'm moving my own files, I don't care about this. So I click on move. The three files has disappeared from here. If I click on administration under my drive, I will see the new three files that I just moved. And if I click on any files, and then click on share, I will see that I am the owner of these files. So this is the way around when I have the restrictions to change the ownership of the files. So I click on done, and then I should repeat the process with the other folder, some files. So I click on share with me, click on moving drive, marketing, right click, make a copy, then I can move the new copy to the marketing folder. I click OK. I will go again to share with me and then to the sales folder. I have two files. 
I will select them, make a copy. I will select the two new files and I can move it over the sales folder under my moving drive. So this completes the steps of moving the files when I have the restriction to change the ownership, which is what we will find when we have a Google Workspace account. The steps that we just reviewed here can also be useful to organize and clean your Google Drive. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comment or questions, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, or want to find it a little easy again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.